Um, I'm Lucy Bolton and I play uh, beach volleyball for Great Britain. So we were out here today, we were just um, across the river um, stopping the traffic and now we're here at Parliament Square <laughs> getting a lot of attention from the traffic. But we're here to promote um, Getting Ahead of the Games, which is a website which um, people can go on and find out about um, what problems there could be while the games are going on in London over the summer. Um, just obviously we want people to make it to our event and come and cheer us on. So we're just trying to promote the website and where people can find out information, different ways to travel, different routes they can go on. Um, I mean, for us personally, we're going to be staying in the village but need to get to Horse Guards Parade on a daily basis. So things like the athlete um, lanes are going to be really important to us. And then just getting our friends and family to the, to the event and all the other members of the public. We want people to come and support us. And so them getting, you know, being ahead and knowing which, which routes to take, and which routes to avoid, which modes of transport to take, it's really important. So hope we can get all the information they need. So you're just going to encourage people to go to the website, getaheadofthegames.com, um, and all the information's on there that you need, just so you know, you know what's going on. <laughs>to raise awareness of the games and the kind of effect it'll have on traffic um, it's very important to plan your journey during the games head to the get ahead of the games website and Twitter as well will give you live update um, information about where the hotspots are and what the sticky situations of the roads are so just make sure you plan ahead and and get your journey ready transport is the key to, to making sure everything runs smoothly obviously it's um, it'd be very important for people to arrive at the games on time we don't want anyone arriving late for the show um, as well like not being too hassled and too stressed by what's going on so I think um, making sure that everything's planned and everything's running smoothly is definitely something to make sure the games run smoothly as well. We are, we're putting in um, a, a lot of good performances in the, the months leading up to the Olympics and the home crowd is definitely going to add that extra extra boost on the day. Um, we're basically trying to pass the message around to um, all the people in London and that are going to be travelling to the Games to so just be a bit smarter about how they get to um, their events that they're going to watch. Obviously, and the traffic's going to be bad. There's going to be more people in London than we're used to. So just encouraging people to um, find alternative routes, either cycling or walking. So, um, yeah. Yeah, we're really excited about it. Obviously, we've been putting in a lot of work for the last four or five years. Now it's only two months away. So, yeah, pressure's definitely building, but we're also getting really excited about the opportunity to play at home. Um, really get involved, and but just be smart about your decisions, especially in terms of um, transport to the games. So, um, but get involved, and it's really going to be a really fun experience for London. So, just enjoy it. <laughs>